for heat number five. As Jake Blight is already coughing and sputtering, car number 61 as well. Hopefully it's A-OK, -OK, so it'll be car number seven of Josh Martinelli now on the outside. So two all-black cars are running on the front row. Brad Smith and Paul Briggs will be row number two, row number three with David Fall. And Hayden Norman and car number 61 of Jake Blight will round out your field. We're missing Jason Oldfield, Cody Avens, Damon... Oh, no, sorry, that's the wrong heat. Uh, we're missing James Westerman, David Falls out there in car number nine. I'll work it out. You start Kate the race. Helms. Kate Helms might be the one. So they're the two we're missing out in this one as uh, heat number five is set and underway for Collie Cams of the Camping World. And it's going to be the man on the inside of Kieran Norman who gets the better of uh, Josh Martinelli. One car very sideways. In fact, he spun onto the infield. That was Brad Smith. 1-1. One, one. Almost went up against the bar wall. That was car number six of Hayden Norman. They'll rejoin in sixth and seventh place, but they're all right behind car number five of Kieran Norman, who leads from Josh Martinelli. One car still coughing, an almighty Laureate. And that's car number 61, I think, of oh, Jake Blight. With lap number one, it's completed seven laps to go. It's car number five of Kieran Norman, who leads by a car length over Josh Martinelli. And here comes car number 12, the local driver for Collie Tyron Exhaust of Paul Bricks, who now looks to the outside of Martinelli. They draw level out of turn number four. It's still Martinelli holding on to second place. Bricks now with the over-under and runs to the inside of Martinelli. Two down and six to go. And Paul Bricks now has gone into second and has just coughed it up as well as he moves out of turn number two. He spun out and lost in the process four positions. Yes, he has. Our race leader moves out of three and four. You think there's fireworks going off. It's Jake Blight in fourth place. Our race leader, though, is uh, Kieran Norman. Second place is the seven car driven by uh, Josh Martinelli, then David Fall. Blight is under pressure now from uh, Hayden Norman in fifth place. And behind him, Paul Briggs. And at the tail of the seven car field is Brad Smith. So come out of Palmer's once again. Four to go this time around. Out in front still Kieran Norman. Second place Josh Martinelli, David Fall, Jake Blight. It might be coughing and spluttering but he's still up fourth place under control. Hayden Norman's there along with Paul Briggs as they head down the back straight. Nothing separating third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Great battle in that one, but there's a, a mile between first and second and second and third. David Fall, though, has got Jake Blight, Paul Briggs, and now car number six of Hayden Norman breathing down his neck. What's the move Blight going to do? The man playing the fireworks. He looks to the inside of David Fall as Paul Briggs now looks to the outside of Jake Blight. It's still Kieran Norman past the Griffith Cole sign and into turn number three and four from Josh Martinelli. David Fall as Jake Blight and Paul Briggs both look to the outside of David Fall. Briggs now under attack from Hayden Norman who looks to the inside, unable to get the job done, but this time around with one and a half laps left to go as he comes out of turn number two. It's all go to way for car number five of Kieran Norman. Here it is, Kieran Norman out in front for Martinelli. Blight hits the concrete. Now that might stop the fireworks as they move out of Palmer's corner. The white flag's on display. It has stopped the fireworks. It's stopped the car. It's locked up up there in Pitts Bend. The yellow lights have come on. Yep, he hit the fence and uh, I said in the court that'll stop the fireworks. It has indeed. Chips held uh, late last year. As we come into the main straight, the green lights are back on. Two laps to go. And Josh Martinelli missed the start by about four car lengths, which is uh, not what you need to do when you're in second place behind Kieran Norman. Back in third place is David Fall, Paul Briggs. Back to Hayden Norman. And then at the tail, it's uh, Brad Smith as they head up into Pitts Bend. One and a half to go. Out of turn four, they'll greet the white flag, Kieran Norman out in front. Second place, Josh Martinelli. Back to David Fall, Paul Briggs. Uh, back in fifth place, Hayden Norman. And in sixth place, the 89 car of uh, Brad Smith. Not much separating them. In fact, Martinelli has closed on Kieran Norman. Paul Briggs is up behind uh, David Fall. And so too is Hayden Norman up behind Paul Briggs. Briggs has uh, been watching Steve Francis. He's gone out for the big one of the finish. And Martinelli sneaks up on the inside and wins. Josh Martinelli got up on Kieran Norman right on the line. David Fall, Paul Briggs and Hayden Norman crossed the line together for third, fourth and fifth in a blanket finish. And Brad Smith was right behind them. 1.7 seconds separated the entire six of them. Put your hands together for Josh Martinelli, ladies and gentlemen, who gets up on the line by 0.1 of a second. 0.104 over Kieran Norman and third place to David Fall. Great win there. Uh, the brink of death from Josh Martinelli for Martinelli Motorsports. He'll be now with Alan Smallwood, your winner of heat number five. Thanks, Morgan. I was uh, looking forward to having a chat with Kieran Norman. I haven't seen him in uh, 
quite some time. He's been abroad the last few months, working and living overseas and uh, back behind the wheel. And all it took was one mistake and Josh Martinelli was right there to pounce in the Martinelli Motorsport Ultra Trend Malaga number seven from uh, the RDO of WA. Josh, one mistake from Kieran and you're right there to pounce. That uh, must be nice to collect a uh, big bag of points. Oh, uh, that was um, that was a good race. That I haven't I haven't really been on this collie track much, so I'm loving it at the moment. Um, I just got to thank uh, everyone that's helped me, Dad, uh, Josh, Ben, uh, my girlfriend, and everyone. This has been uh, I'm loving it now. I, wish, I don't know why I stayed out of the seat so long. Quality field here tonight. A uh, a good test and a good hit out prior to the uh, the state title, which will be held at your home track in just a little over a month's time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Last time I raced at um, Ellenbrook, I started fourth in the Brian Road, so hopefully if everything goes to plan, we should be up the front there as well. Wish you all the best for the rain of the night here at Collie. Cheers, thanks.